Hey YouTube, it is a rainy summer afternoon on the farm and we've had some exciting happenings today. Um, I can't wait to show you guys. The garden is getting a much needed drink out there. And the kids are entertaining themselves. Asher, you already got your PJs back on? <laughs> Asher is a man that knows how to relax. What are y'all doing? Playing hotel. Oh. This morning, um, I woke up early, but we had a really late night last night. We had some friends over, and I had to milk the goats and everything afterwards. So I actually didn't get in bed until after midnight. And this morning, I woke up at 6, and it just wasn't happening. So I got out, uh, checked on everything, and went back to bed. I woke up again around 8, which is pretty, uh, that's a pretty late start for around here. And um, went outside and Ebony, my goat that I've been watching closely this last couple days, was in the yard pushing with a kid presenting. So that was how my morning started. And uh, we have two beautiful, healthy, healthy bucklings. And Jeremiah has had a mastermind idea. You ready to go out to the barn and tell YouTube your idea? Yeah. Swinging in the rain, huh? That's fun. Nice summer rain, blue sky. Hey, Georgie. <laughs> he said, no. Hey, little buddy. You don't mind a little rain? Hey, girls. What is that? Look at these, look at these guys laying in that hay bin. Y'all ready to eat? They're like, no one ever feeds me. Hey, Eb. So Ebony is the goat that the kids call Grandpa because she has a beard. And she is our oldest goat. Um, she is eight years old, which is significantly older than the rest of ours. Goats typically live to be like 15 to 18 years old. Uh, Ebony is a really big goat, so she'll probably be on the um, shorter side of that range. You wanna grab the babies? Let's show YouTube. These beautiful boys. They have similar faces. Yeah, they're really cute. Hold them out sideways so we can see their markings. She's like, give them back. year for our home dairy has been to bottle raise our kids most of which we have sold and I'm actually going to explain that decision in depth in another uh, informational video kind of just explaining the pros and cons of dam raising versus bottle raising however today whenever Ebony had these twin bucklings Jeremiah saw it as an opportunity to fulfill a bit of a homestead dream that he's had since we uh, started our farm. Okay, so we've never been able to justify it before because we've always had too many boys and too many goats. So recently we actually lost a buck <clears throat> that we actually were planning on keeping and everyone really loved and we don't know what happened. Um, so we see this as an opportunity to Add a companion back to Mr. Darcy, but also to fulfill the dream of creating a goat cart. Uh, it's kind of a play on a go kart, but uh, we had some friends and they did this for their kids until they got to be like graduating high school. <laughs> but they uh, kept two boys and weathered them and trained them to pull a cart, uh, kind of like horses do. Um, and so we are actually going to attempt to create a goat cart for our family, for our kids to use on the farm. So these bucklings are really too related to any of our girls to use for breeding. So up until this point, what we've said is that um, we weren't keeping any of the boy goats. However, having two that looked a lot alike um, that are from our biggest doe, who has uh, very big bloodlines, and so they're gonna be big boys we thought we would go ahead and take this opportunity to weather these boys so they'll never be bred and raise them so they're really friendly and train them to pull a cart. What could go wrong? <laughs> Since we 
we are planning on keeping Ebony's kids, I am going to leave them on her and let her raise them. However, I'm going to take some advice that I got from someone that said that if you are allowing your kids to be damn raised, that you can actually um, pull them for a period of time from the mom for so long every day and feed them one bottle a day. Now, um, that's a little bit extra work. However, I feel a lot more comfortable knowing that they can take a bottle because in the past, we have had um, a couple of times where we end up losing a doe while she's still nursing kids, uh, the kids being a month old and having never taken a bottle and it has caused a lot of heartache. So we don't want that to happen again. We also, because we are keeping these kids for the purpose of um, training them to pull apart, we definitely uh, want them to be friendly and uh, socialized. So giving them a bottle every day will serve that purpose. And, um, but letting, letting her raise them primarily will be less work for us. And even though I'm leaving the kids on her, I am going to go ahead and milk off a little bit of colostrum to put in my freezer because I don't have any right now. Um, I realized that today that we had used up what we did have stored up and I like to always have um, some colostrum. She's got a really heavy bag so I think she's got plenty to spare and um, that way we've got it in case one of the next goats that we have kids and we need that on hand. I like to have that on hand. So I didn't milk just a whole lot um, because they are both eating. But this is colostrum which is the first milk. Uh, this is particularly thick and yellow classroom. It doesn't all look like this, but a lot of it does. And um, I'm just going to keep that couple ounces in my freezer in case, um, in case I need it at some later point. They're fighting over the same teat. <laughs> She's like, share with your brother. Daniel's back. He was out of town this weekend. Hey, you people, I'm gonna make a vote to change Daniel's name to Carson Jordan. <laughs> oh my God. That was one of the names that Ben named the baby goats. One of the baby goats is Carson Jordan. I'm gonna change Ben's name to Richard. The other one was Richard. The other one was Sharton. Sharton? <laughs> <laughs> hey, beautiful girls. Hey, sweet girls. I need to do a video like introducing you guys into my uh, my goat herd because I am absolutely smitten with them. They're the best goaties in the whole wide world, aren't you? Yeah, me, what are y'all playing? Hotel. Hotel. In what room is this? The VIP room. Nice. Can I stay in your VIP hotel room with you? What hotel is, what hotel room is this? The dining room hotel. The, oh, this is the dining room hotel room? Yeah, that's the bed. That's what Toby wanted because he was underground. Oh, these are the room contracts? Yep. Nice. This is a, this is a legit establishment, isn't it, Ben? What is this? My money. Oh, your money. This is how they pay us with Legos. You're rich. <laughs> I ran down to the garden because I knew it was about to rain and I had some ripe tomatoes to pick. I didn't want them cracking any worse than they were. And I found this, which uh, the, the stem had just broken and this was just laying in the bed. So I'm thinking I might try um, to fry these dudes. Okay, so we have been talking about what we're gonna name our goat, uh, cart. Our goat cart team. Jeremiah has suggested a few different things. Uh, I'm a big nerd, so I was thinking like, you know, Kirk and Spock, Thor and Loki. Uh, also like to... Dan Daniel suggested Maverick and Goose, but Maverick we're already, and Goose, we're I like Top Gun, it's classic. I'm also thinking, I was thinking maybe NASCAR drivers, because they're going to be go-kart, uh, like Jeff Gordon and uh, Dale Earnhardt, and call them Jeff and Dale, Shake and Bake. And do like a Talladega Nights thing? I don't know. <laughs> so, anything else you can think of? I mean, we can go something I think like something, dorky. That we're going to let them have their horns. Yeah. And we're just going to raise them like really uh, <clears throat> socialized, you know, like 
so they're gonna be pretty they're gonna be pretty cool looking the people we got our goats from they have like this huge weather which is if you don't know a, um, a castrated male so they don't go into rut and they don't like do the whole like stinky goat thing the way a uh, buck who's intact mm -hmm. the way that the darlies explained it also is that they they've noticed that their weather is a lot more aggressive a lot less aggressive oh yeah like they're like weathers people keep weathers for like pets so these are going to be like really socialized like we're keeping them for the purpose of having them as pets but they're going to be big goats and they're going to have i mean they'll be pretty <laughs> cool looking you know, some, some big names. I don't you know. Maybe some wrestlers. Ugh, wrestlers. The Rock and. I think like Viking names would be cool. Ragnar Lothbrok. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's from the Viking show. I don't watch that. Rodin. That's his brother. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't know. What do you guys think? Does anybody have any ideas of some great names for our goat cart team? I'm not gonna do this, but you know. Uh, I'm a big Oklahoma Sooners fan. I grew up in Oklahoma, and you know their horses, their ponies that pull the wagon are Boomer and Sooner. We're not doing that, Maybe. but I want something, <laughs> you know, something like that would be cool. Like a team name. Like they yeah. need to be somewhat related names. So I don't right. know. Throw us your ideas in the comments. Curry and Durant. <laughs> West, West, what Westbrook think. and George Paul. <laughs> Um, and we will, I don't know, give us, give us all your ideas and we'll, we'll probably wait a couple of days to name them and uh, we'll let you guys know when we do. <laughs> um, Jeremiah's mom brought me these the other day. I was going to show you guys because I think it's really cool. Uh, Maya's Nana is an artist. She paints. And she painted these for me. Is that awesome or yeah. what? She painted them from photos of our own chickens. Yeah, she painted these from photos of our own chickens. Like, actually, we had to cull our entire flock last year because they got a respiratory disease. And we had um, we had bred for egg color, so we had really, really neat chickens. And these are pictures from my, my Morans. Aren't, aren't those amazing? It made me so happy. I mean, like, they're treasures. His Nana made them. Like, that's pretty cool. It's like the rain is settling down a little bit. It's still sprinkling, but not too bad. Um, something kind of cool I want to show you guys here. These cherry tomato plants, uh, these volunteer in this planter bed that I have right by my front door every year. Because like a few years ago, our friend Jake, uh, I didn't have anything planted there and it just kept being weedy. And he, uh, he just stuck a tomato plant in there just randomly. And since then, it's just reseeded from fruit falling off and I don't know I always intend to plant really pretty flowers there but I pour myself entirely into the garden and stuff like the flower beds just fall to the wayside Daniel's actually weed eating out here even though it is uh, sprinkling it was 100 degrees out here before the rain started and now it's like 79 or 80 it feels so so good so I'm about to get to work. I have a lot of weeding to do, and I would rather do that in this drizzly rain uh, while the temperatures are low than when it stops and gets hot again. So I will see you guys later. I just wanted to share our new baby goats with you and tell you uh, kind of what was going on here today. I hope you all have a really wonderful day. Until next time.